Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I have a few coloring books to show you, ones I got recently. Most, yeah, probably all of them in the month of December. Um, I got this in Inktober 2020 coloring challenge. It's uh, Coloring Heaven, um, part of the collection. I, I'm not going to do a flip through. I imagine there's lots of those on the on the on everybody else's channels. I'll just do a quick gaze through. It looks really interesting. There's um, people in here that I hadn't heard of before. I've got a terrible shadow. I'm sorry. Excuse my shadow. It's because I got a light on, isn't it? Does that take care of it? Not really, but it might help a bit. There we go. Not quite as dark. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. I really like this picture right here. That's adorable. I think that's going to be one of the first ones I do out of this book, and it's by Suzanne Geisman. Not quite sure how to pronounce the last name. G-Y-S-E-M-A-N. Geisman or Geisman. Yeah, and there's another one. She, uh, she has some cute pictures in here. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to working in this book. I haven't, I did have a lot of Creative Haven books and I, I found I, I was having a hard time with them. I just couldn't seem to, to get them done. I don't know what, what the issue was. It was definitely with me, not the books. The books are fabulous. But I do like uh, Teresa Goodrich and I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to get this one because I can do it throughout the whole year and because um, it's about a house, right? And uh, who doesn't love a picture with somebody having a hot chocolate or coffee with reading and, and uh, looking at the dog. So I'm going to try again. I think I was stumped before because of all the detail. I wasn't uh, used to the detail. So yeah, so I'm going to give it a try again and uh, just pretend it's my house that I'm coloring and see how that goes. It's a beautiful book, and Teresa Goodrich is just a fantastic illustrator. So that's a new one I got. Now I got this one, Watercolor with Me, um, In the Forest by Dana Fox. Um, I watched Lucy Just Adds Color. She's absolutely one of the sweetest ladies I have ever not met. Uh, and she did a, re a preview of this book, and I fell in love with it. I thought, oh, it's just beautiful. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get it. So it came in last week, I think, either last week or the week before. So I thought, okay, let's see what we can do. So, as you can see, the pictures on one side, the uh, really faintly drawn image, and then all the instructions are over here. So my kind of idea was that um, I would trace this and put it in a, a an art journal first. Because, yeah, I know nothing um, about paint other than that you need a brush. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll, I'll do it first before I see, before I actually put it in this book. But there are a lot of pictures in here. This, this whole thing is pictures to color, to paint, I should say. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great journey, and I hope to get some, uh, quite a few done this year. And I did get Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. Um, I really, I, I have one of her books, it was the very first one, uh, but I got it on eBay and it was used, and for, and it just, um, for some reason just, I don't enjoy it. So I thought, okay, I'll get the, I'll get this latest one, because I, a lot of times I only like having one of an author, so that I can, I can get it done before I move on to another one, I'm, I'm kind of um, strange that way, but it's a good strange. <laughs> I live in a small apartment, so I got to do what I can do to keep it uh, half manageable. Oh, this book is very, very cute. And I'll do just a quick flip through in case somebody out there hasn't seen it yet. It is just a, it's very adorable. How could you not love these, eh? They're just the cutest things. 
So this is going to be one of the, I plan that this, that this is going to be one of the brightest coloring books I'll ever do. Excuse me if I'm having difficulty. It's, it's so weird. My eyes haven't yet adjusted, so I've got my reading glasses on, but I don't need them for this far away. But if I get, get too close, I can't see. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get used to this. It's going to take just a little while. Look at this bunny. Isn't she cute? Oh, my God. She's adorable. I like this book. Look at this nose. I love this nose. How can you not love that nose, eh? It's the cutest little thing. Yeah, I'm going to love doing this book. <laughs> this turtle. Yeah, it looks like a really happy book, doesn't it? They're fishing. Oh my goodness. How sweet is that? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to start this one. Not quite sure what I'm going to use. I think I'll start with my Pablos and uh, my Luminance. If you heard that barking, I apologize. There's somebody in our building who has a really big dog, and sometimes he barks. They're moving out in a couple of weeks, and they have a new baby, so sometimes they leave, and, you know, they have to leave the dog at home because they're taking the baby somewhere. I think that's all new to him, so I'm glad they've got a house for the dog and the baby. Oh, that's cute, eh? That's me, crocheting your knitting. <laughs> These are so cute. I have to use sharp pointed pencils, they're pretty small, some of these pictures. The lid for this coffin must be in the back, one of the ones you cut out and attach to the book. Oh, she's sewing her blanket. That's nice. I'm glad I got this book. It's very interesting. It's a lot of cute stuff to color. Now this is a Christmas for next year, eh? Yeah, I'll have a couple of them I can color for next year. coming up to the end. Gorgeous. Look at her. I saw somebody's finished pictures have that had her colored. I think was, the dress was blue. It was beautiful. And there we go. I think we've got the end of the book there. And yes, we do. So that's my Clara Markova, Fairy Touch of Magic. And this is Zen Garden uh, Studio Series. I'm not quite sure where I got it from, but it's, it was kind of interesting. So I'll give you a little bit of a flip through. It's by illustrated by Trina Dalziel. Not quite sure how you pronounce that. 
I'm sorry if I've got it wrong. And they look like some Zen doodly types of pictures here. The paper is gorgeous, just gorgeous. Can you hear that? Yeah. Some of the books you get in at uh, supermarkets or drugstores can be have the best paper. And and with this end doodly designs, you don't have to do every small space. You know, it can be quite one solid color or uh, several different colors. This is neat, isn't it? All these bonsai. I like this. These, I think they're like wind socks. I think. If it's something else, let me know in the in the in below in the comments. I think we got a deer farm or reindeer farm. It's a pretty page. And these are um, perforated, so they can be taken out. So some of these can actually be winter type scenes. All these leaves would be making nice fall colors. These must be lanterns. They're very pretty, very pretty pictures. Isn't that all? nice? Flowers and all sorts of things. Fine liners, gel pens, would work good in this book. And there you have it. So that is Zen Garden, Artist Coloring Book by Trina Dalziel. So that's my uh, coloring haul so far for January. I'll have to write down that I've got these ones hauled and that you've seen them. And uh, wait for the next set to come in the mail. Well, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for your comments. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.